when the narcissist realizes you were a real one. You were positive in attitude and full of energy and new ideas. You may have been gullible and over trusting. You may have showed a lack of experience, wisdom and judgment, but you were still the best thing that happened to them. So what happens when the narcissist realizes that? Because they will go off on their own and go through all sorts of things. And they know the difference. They know when something isn't the same. They know when something was better somewhere else. When they were with you. When they first targeted you, they put you on a pedestal. They saw you as being perfect, as the best thing that ever happened to their lives. But it's not sincere. They just say it to get you to react to them. To get you more invested in them. But everything you did in the beginning was great. They had never experienced anything like that before. And they even tell you that. They tell you that you've made a difference in their lives. Which is why it's so confusing when the devaluation begins. Because they've already said all of these positive things about you. They've made it out as though you are more of a benefit to them than they are to you. But they need to be in a position of control. So they have to devalue you. They have to make it seem like something is wrong with you. Like you're insufficient for a purpose. You're not good enough. You're not what they expected you to be. But these are all lies. They're deceiving you about their true intentions and motives. And if you haven't been involved with a narcissist before, you will be worried and concerned about it. You will think about it a lot. It creates confusion. Because they used to like everything about you. And now it seems like they have an issue with everything you do. But really, there's no problem at all. They don't have a problem with anything you're doing. They just need to create a situation where they can make you doubt yourself. Where they can make you less confident and more insecure. They need to tear down your self-esteem because they feel like they're better than you. They might give you a little bit of recognition in the beginning, but they feel like they've already got you figured out. You're no different to anyone else that they've been involved with. And it's only a matter of time until they break you down. Just like they broke everyone else down. So from the moment they first met you. They're regarding you as less capable than you really are. They never saw how great you are. And they could never do the same for you in return. They couldn't appreciate it. Because it didn't mean anything to them. Because they were so absorbed in their own motives. They were too busy thinking about what they were going to do to you. So they didn't see any of that.
Narcissists often find really good people. People who are positive in attitude and full of energy and new ideas. People who have exceptional talent and natural ability. People who have a lot of enthusiasm, affection and kindness to give. People who are authentic. People who love them for who they are despite their flaws. Because you saw their flaws, but you turned a blind eye to it. You pretended not to notice. You still chose to treat them with respect. You still chose to love them, but they took it for granted. Because in their minds, they were the reason why you were showing your best qualities. They're the reason why you're so full of enthusiasm, affection and kindness. If they weren't there, you wouldn't be that way. That's how they see it. You're doing it because you realize how special they are. So you want to give something to them to show them your appreciation. So they can't see that it's something coming from you because they're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They're preoccupied with their own feelings, interests and situation. They're only concerned with their image and how other people see them. So everything has to revolve around them. They don't see that it's real because they know they're not being real with you. So they see you as being fake as well. Because they know they're fake. They know they're giving you fake emotions. They know they're showing fake care and concern for you. And they believe that everyone is the same as them. So they believe you're being fake too. They believe that all of your qualities are fake. They just see it as though you're putting on an act. Just as they are. So every little thing you do is taken for granted. It's not appreciated. It's not seen as something special because they believe you're putting on an act. And although it may not be an act, they don't see it because they know they're tricking and deceiving you. They just see it as though they've got you under their spell. They're putting on an act with you. And they believe that you're putting on an act. And you're showing fake care and concern. But they don't mind that. As long as they're getting something out of it, they will play the game with you. Which is why everything is just one big game with a narcissist. While you're thinking that you're in something serious because the entire time they're trying to react to you with an opposing opinion or action. They're trying to defend themselves against you. They're trying to go in the opposite direction against what they think is your attempt to manipulate them because they don't believe in authenticity. So eventually you break up you move on and they find someone else. But this time they may find someone who is really playing games with them because sometimes narcissists get it wrong. So they may end up with someone who is playing games that they thought you were playing because before they met you, they were involved with people who are playing games and narcissists are very paranoid. They always think that people are out to get them. So when they find someone else who is really playing games with them, it proves to them that their actions were right and reasonable. It proves to them that everyone's fake. But then they remember 
that you didn't do a lot of the things that this new person is doing to them. So maybe you had more experience and skill. Maybe you were a better con artist. And they may want to return to you. But they're afraid that you're more dangerous and that you will cause problems for them. So if they do return to you, they have to be in a position of control. They have to stay ahead of you because they think you're just like them. They think you're crazy, but they also think you're more intelligent than they are, which is why they have to cheat. They have to trick you because that's the only way that they can get around your intelligence. But when it comes to them thinking about whether or not you were a real one, their fear doesn't allow them to think that way. It doesn't allow them to accept it. It doesn't allow them to accept that you are someone they can open their heart and emotions to. They have to see you as a threat. They have to see you as someone who is likely to cause damage and danger because they can't understand sincerity. But they may still return to you because they can still get something out of it. So it's worth the risk because you provided something to them that they need. You provided them with security and stability. The narcissist is always looking for that perfect person and that strength to stand and endure and remain unchanged is what makes you perfect to the narcissist. It makes you very desirable to them and it's what makes them come back to you because you always behaved in the way that they expected. You didn't change. And they realize that other people don't have stability. Other people's lives are in disorder. They're out of control. They're dealing with so many situations, but you remain unchanged. They knew what to expect from you. Which allowed them to act in the way of how they like to be. So when they've gone out into this cold world, where there are a lot of bad and unfair things happening to people, and it's every man for himself, they want to come back to where it was quiet and warm. They want to come back to where it was good because they know the difference. But sometimes they do things that make it impossible for them to return to you. They do things that force them to continue with a particular course of action. It makes it impossible to return to an earlier situation because they've already caused so much damage. They've burnt their bridges and you may be glad they're gone. After they disturbed your peace and upset your stability, you don't even want them to come back. So now they have to settle for low hanging fruit. They have to settle for things that are easy to obtain and take advantage of. Which won't feel the same as it did with you. They're going to be unsatisfied. They're going to be stalking you. Because what they have now is not like what they had with you. Which is why many of them turn into victims. Because they're running out of options to get supply. They're getting desperate. So they will reach for low hanging fruit. 
they will reach for the bare minimum to function in society. Because when it all comes down to it, it was never about you as a person. They just missed the benefits that you provided to them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coach inquiries, you can email me at coaching.arcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.